Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be recovering some brass. So you guys see this is nice clean yellow brass right here. And these are the, um, so on the fluorescent light tubes, our lights that you got, these are on the ends. There's usually two on each end. And then the fluorescent bulb just kind of screws in there. So let me show you guys how to do these. So some of these on the back have like a little paper. All I do is just this little piece of steel there, almost like a staple. Cut that and then fold this back just like so. And then here's our clean yellow brass. Just like that. And then the rest is garbage. Sounds easy enough. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I don't know if it's really worth it doing it, but. I guess we're gonna find out. I mean, brass is brass, and. Well, since oh, I have a bunch of these to do, as you guys can see in this bucket here, I got a bunch of them to do in there. And I get these all the time too, so for my electricians. So, yeah. So I'll show you one more, and then I'll show you the other type. So, again, just fold back this paper. There's a little steel clip right there. You just cut that, and then. Fold that back. They should pull right up. And they should just pull right up. Okay, so those are those ones. Then you got these small ones. These ones are a little bit more of a bugger. But what I do is I just take my clips on the side, squeeze down on the other side, squeeze down. A little bit more messier, but brass from basically me. same result. And then these should just should. should they want to be a pain because you're on camera? Yeah, you should just be able to pry that brass out. Brass goodness, right there. And then all this plastic just goes in the garbage. I'll do another one of these pain in the butt ones. So like fair, you did two of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then oh, oh. There we go. Popped off. Grab the brass. And I just I just put it on there and then just turn. It's my, like the switches. My wire cutters. There's some brass there. It's yeah, like when you're trying to get brass for the switches. Yeah, pretty much, eh? Right? Well, there we go. And then... Why don't you just put the garbage between your legs so you can just drop it through? Now, we also have these ones here, too, which are bigger. A different. Now, these ones here, I usually... Uh, you can do them with these clippers. I usually just take a hammer to them, but... You're going to have to do it. For this video, I'm just doing this. Uh, there's a piece of brass there. And then, it's going to be stubborn. Oh, yeah. There's a copper. screw in there. Copper spring. I don't know if that's actually copper, but. Use magnet, see? And there's a little bit of brass there. I don't have a magnet. But Rooster does. Alright. Always. So that's steel. Alright. But this, all this good stuff here, is all brassy goodness. As you guys see, it's not sticking to the magnet. This is a pretty powerful magnet. It's one of those neodymium. It's a neodymium. magnet. It's a neodymium magnet. Like you would get off a hard drive. But as you see, none of this is sticking to the magnet. All nice, clean, yellow brass. 
goodness. Okay, so we'll just put that off to the side there. All right, let's do one more of these. So again, I just break it at the seam there. These ones are a little bit harder. Usually I just smash these with a hammer normally. Is that one copper? That one's bigger. No. No, it's steel. They look like copper. They do. They have like a copper color, but so yeah. there's only like one little piece of brass in here, as you guys see. Just that one. Just the one. And the rest, garbage. So, we have five minutes here. I'll do. I'll do a few more here on camera, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. See, normally the when they pop open like that, it's nice. And then you just kind of turn upside down and see what clippers, pops out. And then pry out your brass. Some of them you don't have to pry, they just fall out. Yeah. I mean, this is like truly micro scrapping here. Um, you know, if you guys are into the micro scrapping. It's like doing plugs. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> that this involves more cutting right less prying but and no copper <laughs> at the end of the day it's all brass and why let it go to the landfill don't cut your hand open like i did why let it go to the landfill or into the tin shred pile when you can get money for it if you can get brass price for it maximize your profit i mean Tin shred now is, uh, I believe, 13 cents a pound. I think so. So that's not that much. Um, where, <laughs> where with this, brass is uh, $3 a pound. So it's definitely worth separating if you can. Or if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. But for those of you that do micro scrap, like e waste and <laughs> yeah, then uh, get all your all your goodies, all your brass, all your copper that you can get, and uh, over time you should have pretty decent supply. You okay? Yeah. So. <laughs> I just shot rooster in the eye. Yeah. Should wear some safety glasses. <laughs> Especially the videoer. <laughs> nice right. piece of shot me in the eye with. So, there we go. <laughs> some of these are a bit of a pain to get up, but. There you go. There you have it. All right, guys. All this. Oh, you're um, empty. But that's where the brass is going to yeah, go. That's there. where the brass is going to go. So, guys, when I'm done this, all of this here and all of this here, I will show you how much brass we have to add to our brass horn. I mean, it doesn't weigh a lot. I'll tell you that now. Um, it's very light brass, but... Again, brass is brass, and if it adds to the pile, it adds to the pile, even by ounces or pounds, it doesn't matter, as long as you're adding to it, and uh, it's cold out today, so, so we're doing that. it's like, you know, minus uh, 30 degrees, so, yeah, alright guys, oh. we will be back, so, do me a favor, until we get back, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys scrap these out for your yellow brass. All right. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified for the next video. Stay tuned. Hey, guys. What's going on? All right. We are back. Going to figure out if it was worth it or not. So let's go ahead and grab a bucket. Tear it out. This is all the brass from them light pieces. So, zero point seven seven pounds. So 
So three quarters of a pound, guys. All this yellow brass is added in to the hoard. I mean, it looks like quite a bit. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but still brass nonetheless. So we'll add that in to our brass hoard. Into the bucket. There we go. Alright guys, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Until next time, do us a favor. Keep scrapping. Have us a good day.